Hey, hey, hey! Today, let's talk real quick uh, about acid peels and exactly what acid peels are so that you can gain a little bit more knowledge about them. Okay, so uh, acid peels are just derived from sugarcane and glycolic acid, okay, is a naturally occurring acid and it's a part of the larger family of acids called alpha hydroxyl, okay, most commonly known as fruit acids. So due to its beneficial effects, glycolic acid is used generally for chemical peels that are applied directly to the skin. So the result of this is that the top layer of the skin is going to be exfoliated, which in turn will help stimulate the growth of collagen, okay. So if you didn't know yet, using one such type of peel, you will be able to treat acne, uh, clear up your wrinkles, help dry skin, and hyperpigmentation. Okay, those are just a few examples. Also, with that being said, how can you actually take advantage of acid peels? Okay, so let's hit on a couple major points on what you need to know about acid peels. So, as you start preparing for your acid peel, um, and what you do. So after you, you apply the peel and the glycolic acid will actually sit on your face for a couple of minutes, um, you'll actually start to feel like this little tingling and burning sensation uh, on the area, okay? So if you apply the, uh, the glycolic acid peel yourself and you don't have an esthetician or a, a doctor do it because there are um, at-home kits which are fine, um, if you uh, if you start to feel uncomfortable uh, and your skin starts to feel a little bit different, then it's probably time to to use the uh, the neutralization cream that they give you along with the uh, with the peel. Okay, so um, your skin will start to heal uh, after the peel is off. So you just need to make sure that you use a healing cream um, that you've either ordered or somebody else has uh, given you. And typically, something like this is applied uh, directly after the procedure. And basically after that, you'll have to continue uh, doing it on your own, okay? So just, just a couple of tips for you and a, and a little couple of warnings as well. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't, um, you don't pick any of the flaky skin uh, on the area after you use your peel. Just let it uh, slew away naturally because picking it is going to eventually cause some scarring, okay? So uh, also if you're a man, make sure you don't shave in the same day. Uh, that you get your peel, okay? So following a glycolic peel, you'll need to avoid the sun or your skin will develop a brownish discoloration. So uh, it's basically one of the most common side effects people experience. In some cases, it can be permanent. So after you use a peel, if you go out in the sun, make sure that you use a, uh, a sunscreen with at least SPF. Uh, of 30. Okay, so right below this video in the description, uh, I have a link for, for more information for you uh, since you just got some information on exactly what an acid peel is. So the link below this video, I've actually got uh, another video for you uh, identifying on what some of the best glycolic acid peels uh, are for you. I just wanted to help you out and eliminate uh, some of the research that you would have to do on your own. So I basically did that for you. So all you have to do is just click the link below this video to get more information on some of the uh, the best glycolic acid peels. So thanks for watching and have a great day.